I'm Martino or Justino and this is my movie review to Wanted from 1967 by Giorgio Ferroni, starring one of the all-time greats, Giuliano Gemma. Gary Ryan, acted by Giuliano, becomes the new sheriff in a corrupted town which is mostly controlled by the prophet greedy landowner called Gold. Gold, his puppet Lloyd and his men try to get rid of the new sheriff Gary by a complot to frame him for murder. From this point on he has to get evidence for his innocence and the cruelty of Gold and his gang. Unfortunately this movie is one of many weaker Giuliano Gemma movies, especially because it has pretty much the same topic like Long Days of Vengeance and shows many similar patterns like Blood for a Silver Dollar or also known one Silver Dollar, which are both reviewed and both also star Giuliano in the main role. The difference of this one is he isn't a prisoner or a former soldier from the war like in the other two, but gets two trash scenes as startup, which are honestly liked in a way. He also don't need to work all by himself but has a few followers of justice and this was one of the first western which played during a cold winter time and closer in the mid United States. They didn't rely so much on Mexican bandits except for one scene at the beginning and also added a baddest priest with a gun like the one in the big gun down but it furthermore has more interesting outcomes and unexpected scenes unlike Blood for a Silver Dollar and Long Days of Vengeance. The least mentioned is probably one of the worst movies of Gemma in my opinion. Wanted is a less colorful but well choreographed and climatic movie with better emotional displays like the aforementioned. The emphasis lies more on fistfights than on shootouts, more on finding solutions and fit puzzle pieces together than high thrilled action except at the first third, but it also lacks at the same time an individual idea or message, plus a remarkable scene, except the escape from the villagers to the priest and plus the previously mentioned scene with the Mexican bandits was the biggest joke of the movie and gave it in my opinion a comedic element with lowest budget effects and no effort of common sense plus it didn't fit into the movie nor had it anything to do with the plot except showing off Gary's skills but the scene and a couple at the end like with Evelyn when she reveals her emotions or the final battles were simply just laughable. But I can't lie that I mostly enjoyed many of the movie scenes especially the tricks by Gary to overcome the gang in a silent assassin way to get to his goal um, even if the scene seemed to copy and paste it a bit by the one from Blood for a Silver Dollar and the complete outcome could have been better. The soundtrack also was, just like the whole quality of the movie, probably the weakest part next to the non-existent message, even if I liked the cold and dusty style but it couldn't catch up and lost potential. So the scoring for the soundtrack a 4 out of 10, it only has 1 or 2 themes, acting 7 out of 10, setting 9 out of 10, effects 6 out of 10, suspense 7, story 7, message 4 out of 10, so a final score 6.3 out of 10. It's in my opinion better when Blood for Silver Dollar and Long Days of Vengeance. Even though if I've rated Blood for Silver Dollar better, it doesn't mean that it's better than Wanted. So I guess this is a movie that you could stream in a way if you got time. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.